Hey everybody, it's Ashley Richardson back with another video and that's Miss Richardson to you if you are a student watching. And today we are making a creamy corn dip. Stay tuned. Now let me talk to you about why I wanted to make this dip. So number one, school's back in, I'm working, I really don't cook during the school year, but I'm trying to get better about that. And I'm really, really into one pot, one pan, one dish meals. And so today we're gonna be making this creamy corn dip in the crock pot. And so for all of you girls and guys that are limited on time and you still want something that is fulfilling, something that the family will like, something that you will like, that you don't have to spend a lot of prep work um, and a lot of time preparing, I think this might be the dish for you and a lot of the dishes that will probably be coming your way within the next couple of weeks. And the inspiration for this creamy corn dip is my favorite snack. So my go-to snack is always tortilla chips, Mexican shredded or sharp cheddar cheese, sour cream, tahini, jalapenos, uh, salsa, and hot sauce. And it usually takes me about five minutes to assemble all of that, but that snack for me always hits, it never fails. But I wanted to do something, I guess, maybe slightly more elevated. I still want to get the creamy, cheesy component. I'll, you know, have some chips to dip at the end, but I wanted to, you know, try something a little bit different that's um, kind of paying homage to my favorite snack. So let's jump into the ingredients and the rest of the video. All right, so the ingredients to <clears throat> this creamy corn dip are super simple. We're gonna take uh, two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese. And you see I got my gloves as promised. Amazon did deliver. A little messier than I wanted it to be, but it's okay. That's why we have gloves. So we have one block of pepper jack cheese, two cans of whole kernel corn. Now, I, ideally I would have liked, you know, the Fiesta corn, which has the chilies and the things in it, but that's okay. If you don't have it, I'm gonna add some diced tomatoes to it anyway. Clearly these didn't even come from the uh, same store, Walmart, Harris Teeter, but two cans of whole kernel corn, a can of diced tomatoes with chilies, and you want to add this with the juice. Or you could get Rotel because all Rotel is, is just diced tomatoes. Sour cream, and I'm gonna do a half a cup of that. Well, approximately half a cup. I'm not leveling anything off here. Honestly, I'm gonna do what's left in this container because there's not much left. So let me get a spoon so I can dig out the rest of this sour cream. So after it's all said and done, this will end up being about three fourths of a cup instead of half a cup since I'm using what's left, since I'm using what's left in the container here. I'm going to use a tablespoon of minced garlic. Or a tablespoon and a half. Actually, let's do yeah two tablespoons onion powder and I'm not adding garlic powder because I have the minced garlic in there Tahine, I love 
tahine. It's like a, a lime, um, a lime seasoning. It's so good. And I'm going to season this generously with the tahine. Some hot sauce. And then we're going to allow the crock pot to do the rest of the work. And I'm gonna allow it to cook on high for an hour and 30 minutes. I'll come back after an hour to stir and let you see what it looks like. Y'all, I got caught up watching YouTube videos and forgot to check it at an hour. It's been about an hour and 10 minutes. Well, almost an hour and 15 minutes now. All right, so let's take off the lid and see what it's looking like. Okay, I'm gonna give it a stir. All right, so I'm gonna take a spoon and taste it just to see if the seasoning is to my liking, but this is what, is, this is what it's looking like. I believe this is going to be absolutely delicious. Okay, so let's, let's taste it. Okay, I tasted it and it's amazing. And now I'm getting ready to just put this Mexican cheese on top. And I think that's really just gonna set it off. And this is maybe about a cup or so. And you know what, I have another bag that I want to use and I'm gonna fill in the sparse areas. And all together, this is about two cups of cheese. And for the remainder of the time, I'm gonna let this cheese bake in. Okay, we're gonna cover her back up and come back in about 15 minutes. All right, I put about an extra 30 minutes on because I wanted to make sure that it was cooked all the way through and the flavors had had enough time to meld. Well, I tell you, this thing is always so hard to get off. Okay, here we go. So it's been about an hour and 40 minutes. OMG, look at that. I have washed my hands and now I want to dig in with a tortilla chip. Now let me put y'all on to a tortilla chip. Let me, let me switch the camera around real quick. So when it comes to tortilla chips, these right here are the best. The great value bite size tortilla chips are amazing. They're sturdy, they're flavorful. This is really the only tortilla chip I buy and if you want it to get a little spicy with it, add a little razzle dazzle to your dippage, you could do some nacho cheese Doritos. <laughs> or you can eat everybody's favorite Doritos, the, I call them the purple Doritos, but these are the spicy sweet chili Doritos. But just for now, I'm going to dip with just a regular tortilla chip. So before I dig in with the chip, I just want to stir it. Oh, look at that. Okay. 
it has thickened up very nicely, which is another reason I wanted it to cook a little bit longer because it was still a little thin earlier. Wow. That's going to be so good. I'm gonna dip some in a bowl. And I'm going to use my bite-sized tortilla chips. I have washed my hands. And let's taste it together on camera. Okay, let's taste it together. I'll call y'all right back. I gotta get a bowl. Wow, look at that cheese pull. Did y'all see that? So since the dip is still so hot, I'm gonna use a pot holder, y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. This is so doggone good. Can y'all see the creaminess? the flavor. Absolute must try. Absolute must try. I didn't add any extra salt. The only seasonings I used were the tahini and onion powder and then I put the minced garlic in there. You know, cheese is salty on its own, but that is delicious. It's decadent, it's creamy, it's comforting. It's so easy. And if anyone is interested in the calories, I can let you all know that too, because early, early in my channel days, about a year ago, or a little over a year ago, I was sharing calories in my recipes. And I think I wanna start getting back to that because Calorie counting is a daily part of my life and has been a daily part of my life for about a decade now. And so I'm always counting calories. So just because you don't see me doing it in the video doesn't mean that I don't do it as a part of my daily routine. It's not about dieting, but it has really become a lifestyle for me because it takes a lot of work to keep 100 pounds off. And if you haven't seen that video of how I changed my life forever and how I lost 100 pounds, that video I think I put out last July or last August, I can't remember, one of my very first videos. Definitely go and check that out. Let me get some more of this dip real quick. Oh, look. Mm. Let me get one more chip. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I don't want to talk with my mouth full. Okay. Well, that brings us to the end of another video. I thank you for spending just a little bit of time with me here today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these types of videos, one pot, crock pot, one pan, casserole type things because it's just easy. It's quick, it's simple. A lot of these things you'll already have in your pantry, your refrigerator, your cupboards, and you know, these are just things that I really, really eat and I just like to share them with you all. 
And if you have enjoyed this video, if you are still watching up until this point, definitely give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to the channel and you keep coming back to my videos, definitely subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. Like the video, comment down below because all of that helps to push me through the algorithm. And I thank you for those of you who loyally come back to watch my videos over and over and over again. Um, definitely continue to like, comment, and share with someone that you think might like to see this recipe. Um, my name is Ashley Richardson and that's Miss Richardson to you if you are a student watching. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye.